Are you having difficulties and struggling on how to even skin tone after retouching? This video got you covered. So without wasting much time, let's just get to it. So we are going to use the gradient map to achieve that. So once you hit there, just click on the gradient map. So this is what is going to show after that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the method to classic. Then I'll come right here and now I the visibility of it. Then I will also come and select this, not the layer mask, but this. So after selecting it, I'll come and click here. So it will take me to the gradient editor. So once I get to the gradient editor, make sure your foreground color, this name is on foreground to layer. Just make another extra um, point here. So what I'm going to do, I'll click on the basic, then I'll click on the foreground to background. So after that, I'll now close it, then I'll make sure this is checked. So I'll just come and add another point here. So I can use this as the, as the mid-tone. So this first one will be the shadows, this one will be the mid-tone, and this one will be the highlight. So I'll just get to picking them now. So you come here, click on this, then you come to the color and double click. Then you check on the skin where is dark, where is the... Um, shadows so this point is actually fine i'll just click it you can now see it appearing here i'll hit ok so you now see i have my shadows so i'll come and pick on the mid tone and make sure this location is at 50 so it will be in the middle so i'll just come and then i'll click this then i'll pick on where i think it's the mid tone so this part is actually okay you can now see i have my mid tone so what is remaining now is the shadow I'll just come click here, then I'll pick on where sorry the highlights. So I'll just pick on where is brighter. So once I'm done, you can now see I have my shadows, the mid-tone, and the highlight. So once I'm done here, I'll just click OK. So after clicking OK, I'll come right here and I'll now open the visibility of this layer right here. So after opening the visibility, I'll change the blending mode to soft light. So you can now see it's looking kind of saturated, but you shouldn't worry. So I'll come to this layer mask. I'll invert it by clicking Command I. So I'll pick on my brush, make sure the opacity is at 100 and the hardness is at 50. So I'll just start brushing on where I want this um, effect to be added on. So I'll just start brushing. So you need to be careful while brushing. So just brush on where the skin is. So I'll just take time and brush this so I can have a greater and a nice result of it. So I'll just take it slowly and I'll just brush this. So I'll come to this other part and do the same. I'll just brush. I'll brush this as well. So I'll come and brush the neck. I'll remove it and make it. So as I said earlier, you really need to be careful while brushing so you can have a nice result. So it's kind of looking saturated, but shouldn't worry about that. We'll fix that once we're done with the brushing. So just come and and do same here. Just brush. So guys, so stick around on this video. And the last part is where the main illustration lies, and so. Just stick around, so I'll just do this part as well. I'll brush it and just to have an even skin tone. And just brush this off as well. I'll brush, I'll come right here and I'll brush, I'll do the same. So this is the last part that is remaining. I just brush. Let me check where I haven't brush. Uh, I just check. So 
So I'm done with the brushing at this point. You can now see it's looking saturated. So what you need to do is I will fade out it a bit to two. Just change it to two is fine. So I'll come and I will now reduce the opacity to to I think 25, 26 is okay depending on how you want the effect to be added so you can now see this video 26 is fine so this is how i get to even the skin tone on my image so thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was helpful please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorial but for now see you in the next video